so good evening all of you so <clears throat> today the question paper explanation assistant engineers npdcl telangana state so here <clears throat> we are going to talk first uh, some topics uh, So this question paper is belongs to set A. Remaining students who are watching the class, please go through your set according to the subject wise. <coughs> according to the subject wise, we are going to discuss here. Machines topic shaker will discuss and uh, power system, networks, digital electronics, microprocessors microcontrollers all these topics uh, i will discuss so coming to the <clears throat> so why is everything is clear so see here these questions belongs to uh, machines this uh, shaker will discuss you and uh, this is the question number 15 in the set A, the question number 15 in set A, come under the power system topic. Come under the power system topic. So, in this power system, what is the question given is, a three-phase 400 kilometers lossless transmission line. Paper is not difficult, Emma. paper is uh, moderate, it is not easy, it is not difficult, it is moderate. For AE level, this question paper is a best question paper because while giving the job, they used to check your proper knowledge. For the corresponding knowledge, questions are not copied from any previous and gate and uh, not a straight forward questions, little bit of knowledge and uh, sufficient, with sufficient preparation, student can get the job. Here. So, three phase 400 kilometers lossless transmission line has the following parameters. The line uh, impedance X, because it is a lossless line, there is no resistance. The impedance is equal to the Z, X, Z is equal to X. Line charging susceptance, Y susceptance is uh, 3 into 10 power of minus 6 mo per kilometer. 0 0.05 per kilometer reactants calculate the value of constants a and b in a nominal pi method pi equivalent circuit in the pi equivalent circuit what is a is equal to d is equal to 1 plus yz by 2 yz by 2 what is b is equal to B is equal to Z. B is equal to Z. What is C is equal to? Y into 1 plus YZ by 4. We don't require C. We require only A and B. A and B. So, what would be the B? B is nothing but impedance Z. Already what is the impedance given? 0 0.05 ohm per kilometer. For 400 kilometers means 0 0.05 into 400, into 400. So, what would be the answer for B? So, either possibility only 20 ohms is there. The reactance or impedance is not a negative value, always it is positive value. With this 20 ohms, we can answer it because both are come under 0 
usually a value is less than unity even if you calculate 1 plus yz by 2 for the 400 kilometers you may get this i think 0 0.988 because i have not solved this one this itself is a sufficient information to select the correct answer so answer is c okay ma everyone is following now the next question see here this question in this question everybody is listening now <clears throat> this is the question come under the ac fundamentals or it may be come under the measuring instruments also what is the a voltage of 100 sin omega t 40 cos 3 omega t minus 30 50 sin 5 omega t plus 30 that is belongs to voltage and the pressure coil the current of 8 sin omega t 6 cos 5 omega t minus 120 a amperes is passed through a current coil of a single phase watt meter find the reading of the watt meter find the reading of watt meter now what is the reading of watt meter generally you see here in the voltage we have a third harmonic component but in the current we do not have third harmonic component so this will not provide any power dissipation or watt meter reading power it will not give the voltage is consisting of omega t and current is also having omega t these two are there similarly this one is having 5 omega t this one is also having 5 omega t both will be available so due to sin omega t sin omega t omega t term some power is there similarly 5 omega t 5 omega t both the powers are there but here one wonderful point you have to observe the cos omega t is there we want to make it is a sign because this is sign you have to get into sign now what is your <coughs> power what is the power readings 100 by root 2 rms value we have to take into 8 by root 2 this is the power due to fundamental component there is no angle between v and i power factor is unity plus what about this 5 omega t 5 omega t terms we have to take 50 by root 2 into 6 by root 2 into cos what is the angle for this plus 30 what is the angle for this minus 120 plus 90 minus 120 plus 90 becomes like minus 30 voltage angle is plus 30 current angle is minus 30 that becomes like a cos 60 power factor is cos 60 1 by 2 so how much you are getting 800 by 2 400 plus 300 by 2 into 1 by 2 it becomes 75 and 400 475 watts even uh, your uh, paper is uh, a b c d is you don't worry about that one take your question paper and see what is the number belongs to this question and try to check it your answer is correct or not okay ma right all of you next So this is belongs to the measuring instruments question this belongs to the measuring instruments question 
<coughs> a periodic voltage wave form is displaced on a CRO as shown below. If the reading of the voltmeter is 14 volts, then your type of meter can be, the type of meter can be. So, if you calculate the average voltage for this one, 1 by 8 interval, integral of 0 to 4, 6 by 40, 6 by 40 plus integral of 4 to 8 minus 10, minus 4, not minus 10, minus 4. You can like this. Integrate it. Integrate it and uh, simplify the, implement the limits between 0 to 4, 4 to 8. Uh, you are going to get that the answer is, you are not going to get uh, uh, 14 volts for this one. So, that is not a moving coil. Even square root of this square, this square also you can take because moving iron instrument reads RMS values. Moving coil instruments reads the average values. First expression is for moving coil. Second expression is for moving iron. We won't get this 14 volts. So, either for moving coil, there is no option of 14 for moving iron. Average values and RMS values will not come under the 14 volts resultant. That's why neither moving coil nor moving iron. What is the answers you are uh, selected? You are not answering. You check what is the answers you made it. So now I think uh, earlier question may be little bit light. Uh, now I think it is dark. Is it okay for visible? Is it for visibility? How are you students? How you written the exam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naresh Nani has given. Like, very good ma. See here, a 10 amperes, 200 volts, electro dynamo meter type watt meter, 200 divisions. Electro dynamo meter type can read both AC and DC. Divisions on its scale. If it is Pressure coil is fed by a voltage of 200 root to 2 sin 100 pi t and a current coil carries a current of 5 root to 2 cos 100 pi t minus 60. Then watch meter will read. Watch meter will read. Now see here for this corresponding power 200 into 10 that is 2000 watts. For 2000 watts, 200 divisions are there. 200 watts, 200 divisions are there. Okay, no problem. For a 100 watts, how many divisions? 10 divisions. Like that, number of divisions are known for the corresponding 2000 watts. We need to calculate what is the power for this pressure coil and current coil. How much Vm is given? 200 root to 2. What is the RMS value of voltage? 200 root to 2 by root to 2. I don't want to write the root to 2. 200 RMS value into what is the RMS value of current? 5 root to 2. 5 into what is the angle between voltage and current? Voltage is having angle of 0. Current is having angle of 30. Here it is minus 60, but it is available with cos. If you want to keep into sign, then a plus 90 we have to write. So then what happened? Angle between voltage and current is 30 degrees, cos 30. Then what happened? 1000 into root 3 by 2. This becomes like 86.6. 
866.6 so for 2000 watts 200 divisions for 1000 watts 100 divisions for 866 watts 86.6 divisions so between 86 and 87 divisions answer is this okay Naresh I am fine how are you all of you Yeah, sometimes paper, time consuming is, is a criteria. Right, Ma? Have you understood this answer? All of you. This is the question given here. This one. Next. Yeah. An induction type watt meter indicates the Current combination statement. Usually current coil series, pressure coil or voltage coil is across parallel. Series magnet is excited by load current. That is line current also. Shunt magnet is excited by a line voltage. Series magnet is not with line voltage. Shunt magnet is not uh, with a load current. So option A and D are correct. D and A is the correct option. Nagaveni Upara, how are you? Nagaveni. Next. Coming to the 22nd question, 22nd question, the match the following oscillators with their examples, with their examples, so see here crystal oscillator, of course very simple question it is. Crystal oscillator is a quad piezoelectric. This one RC oscillator come under the wind bridge. RC oscillator is category wind bridge. Negative resistance tunnel diode. Tunnel diode is a negative. So tuned oscillators. Carl Pitts oscillator is a tuned oscillator. Hartley is also a tuned oscillator. But from the options available, this would be the correct answer available. This is the correct answer available. Next. So many times I told you in the class how to express the actual decibel formula, the basic definition, number of times I told you. So see here, the input power and output power of amplifiers P1 and P2. This is the output power, this is the input power respectively then the power gain in decibels 10 log base 10 output power by input power 10 log base 10 output power by input power so don't answer log e and uh, it is not a voltage ratio it is a power ratio that's why if it is a attenuation then uh, 10 log base than P1 by P2. But here the question is gain. Okay, ma. Right, all of you. Try to take your uh, serial A, B, C, D, something like that sheet. I am explaining in the A series. You go through whatever the series. Remaining teachers are ready to explain. They are rigorously our electronics are as well as machines are for how much time you are taking we are waiting to explain all the questions they are asking me right ma so my topics i am explaining what about uh, power system electrical networks measuring instruments digital electronics microcontrollers microprocessors all these things i am explaining for you now 
this is i think very simple question uh, all are uh, answered properly the type of feedback usually employed in a oscillator is what type of feedback is there in the oscillators positive feedback in the oscillator it contains positive feedback are you okay right ma see next question refer the characteristics curve of bjt amplifier the straight line ab represents this is a dc load line to select the operating point a line is drawn which is called a dc load line what is the answer answer d dc load line is the answer yes ma s so clear all of you please check what you are answered whether it is a correct or not anyone can give the answer for this what is what are the bit size of program counter and data pointer in 8051 microcontroller anybody can answer for this one i am waiting for your answer also what you are chosen yeah program counter is 16 bit data pointer is also 16 bit program counter is 16 bit data pointer is also both are 16 bits data pointer higher is 8 bits data pointer lower is 8 bits that is not given completely they given as data pointer data pointer is a in 8051 microcontroller is a that one yeah see here the decimal equivalent of very simple question two binary numbers 101011111 and a triple one 01 010 simply you can add this one 1 plus 01010101010111011111 this value is how much 256 this value is how much 128 this value is how much 32 this value is how much 1 this is becomes 4 256 plus 128 plus 32 plus 4 plus 1 i think uh, 421 is the answer so this is control system it is controls and signals is not a my topics i am talking about the my topics and uh, other topics uh, remaining teachers will come and uh, explain for you the device having characteristics very similar to an ideal voltage source ideal voltage source means it's like a battery zeno diode characteristics are similar to a battery zeno diode and uh, refer to the circuit diagram below assuming the diodes are ideal determine the impedance offered by the circuit across the terminals a and b across terminals a and b usually for this voltage this diode becomes reverse biased because current will not flow here cathode to anode current will not flow current is coming here current will not flow here reverse bias this only forward bias it acts like a short circuit hence resistance is 10 kilo ohms answer is 10 kilo ohms how much ma answer is 10 kilo ohms next 
see here simplify the following boolean expression a bar b c a b c bar a bar b c bar a b c a bar b is common a bar b is common c plus c bar is 1 plus these two are uh, a bar b this one and this one make it like this remaining a b c bar plus a b c you take uh, a b is common c plus c bar a b what happened here b is common a plus a bar is equal to 1 hence answer is b answer is b all are giving the answers or not now venn diagram this is the question come under venn diagram what is here what is the question given in the venn diagram the shaded area in venn diagram below can be represented by following boolean expression this is the shaded area this is the shaded area what are that shaded all three intersectors are shaded. A, B, C is shaded. A, B, C is shaded. Plus, this area is there na. A and B is intersected. C is not there. A, B, C bar. Plus, this portion, only C is shaded. A and B is not shaded. What you can write? A bar, B bar, C. This becomes A, B plus what is this one a bar b bar c where is that answer i think this is the answer we are having a b plus a bar b bar c d is the right answer okay next same question paper again uh, Corresponding the topic, the corresponding teacher will explain. An AC current of RMS value 10 amperes is flowing in a circuit with a power factor of 0.5 lagging. Current is lagging by 60 degrees. If the supply RMS voltage is 100 volts, then following are the equations for instantaneous currents and voltages. What is that? Your current equation may be I is equal to I m sin omega t. In such a format we require. What is I m? 10 root to 2. 14.12. This option is wrong. First of all 14 point. Remaining 3 are there. See here. 10 root to 2 sin sin omega t minus 60 14.14 this would be the answer first but if you represent here which is under what is this 40 141.4 cos omega t it is not like that 141 Cos omega t is a reference. 141, 14.14, cos omega t minus 60. So, I think this will be the answer for this. Because voltage is having angle of 0, current is having minus 60. Both are represented with cos cos. That's why option A. Question is visible. Because directly our question paper is uh, explaining. Now see here. Very nice question here. Given following three currents are uh, as follows. Three different branches in an AC circuit. IA 10 sin omega t minus 30. IB 14.14 cos omega t. IC 7.07 .07 sin omega t. First you make this one into sin. How can you write this one? 14.14 sin 
ओमेगा टी प्लस नाइंटी प्लस नाइंटी देन व्हाट एपेंड दिस इज़ इवर रेफरेंस वेर इज़ इवर आईए माइनस थर्टी डिग्रीज आईए इज़ माइनस थर्टी डिग्रीज दिस इज़ थर्टी डिग्रीज दिस करंट वी कैन राइट एस आईए आईबी प्लस नाइंटी डिग्रीज दिस इज़ आईबी with respect to this i am writing this is ib your ic plus 15 degrees ic is 15 degrees with respect to this ic is this one now if we verify ib is the first one later ic how much degrees it is 75 so ic is lagging by 75 degrees with respect to ib answer d is the correct one okay ma what is the 52 answer you are given yes santosh yes 51 is one is the correct answer now you tell me what is 53 answer here rlc circuit components having resistance reactants 40 j10 minus j10 respectively are connected in parallel with three branches each one element this combination is supplied by 200 volts ac supply the reactive power and upper end power supplied by the ac source Under this condition, what happened? Circuit becomes a resonance. Circuit becomes resonance. In resonance, what happened? It contains only active power. Reactive power is zero. So reactive power is zero. These two answers are not correct. So the reactive power, either this one and this one. And uh, active power is uh, apparent power is not zero. This is also wrong. This is the right answer. Because forty. Into 200, 1000 volt amperes. So from this we have to calculate current ma. 200 divided by 40. This becomes what? 5, 5 amperes. Power means 200 into 5. That is becomes 1000, 1000 volt amperes. So that answer is this. This come under electromagnetic field (EMF), but the paper given a very good uh, proper weightage. All topics given, microprocessor given, microcontroller given, digital given, analog given, signal sense systems (EMF), almost all the topics. A transmission line with a a transmission line with a series capacitor placed at the midpoint as shown in the figure the maximum voltage on the line located at here what happened is 1 volt is here when you come to this point what happened 1 minus drop you are getting 1 minus drop when you come to here what happened 1 minus this drop this drop is minus but it contains what negative value negative of negative becomes positive that to 0.15 is greater than 0.1 so at this point you are getting more potential sir when you come to this point what happened this reactance is added na this reactance so what happened in this case i hope what is this drop 0.1 and uh, for coming to the second case 0.2 minus 0.15 so no doubt c point will have the higher potential c point will have the higher potential c is having higher potential undesirable property of the insulator is 
so uh, desirable properties low thermal conductivity but it has a high thermal conductivity it is a undesirable property of a insulating materials so in this case which are the following two set of supply system require same volume of conductor material considering equal maximum potential difference between conductor to earth when both compared with a dc system ac two phase three wire system and ac three phase three wire system next a moving coil instrument gives a full scale deflection of 10 milli amperes when the potential difference across the terminal is 0.1 volts the objective is to convert the instrument into a voltmeter by adding a series resistance determine the value of series resistance such that the maximum value that should not be exceeded by 20 volts what is the given data voltage v is equal to 20 volts vz is equal to 0.1 volt that is voltage across the galvanometer iz is equal to 10 milli amperes if you calculate rg rg is equal to vz by iz 0.1 divided by 10 milli amperes so that becomes like a 10 power of 3 100 by 10 10 ohms you are getting here rg for the multiplying circuit what is series resistance rsc is equal to rg into m minus 1 or n minus 1 what is m value v by vz 20 by 0.1 20 by 0.1 200 so your rg value is 10 199 199 1990 ohms 1990 ohms are you clear how this one extension of the voltmeter extension of the voltmeter are you clear all of you this is a straightforward question voltage across the galvanometer next see here the measured value of resistance of a two resistors are given along with errors R1 100 plus or minus 2 percent R2 400 plus or minus 5 percent the maximum range of error in series combination R1 plus R2 is but here it is available with a percentage we want to convert that is into a numerical value so 100 plus or minus 2 percent is nothing but 2 only 400 plus or minus 8 percent 400 plus or minus 8 percent is nothing but what 5 percent not 8 5 percent for a hundred five for 400 20 this becomes like 400 plus or minus 20 it consisting of 2 it consisting of 20 22 ohms is available 22 ohms is available so this will be the answer for this this will be the answer for this are you clear all of you i hope you are solving along with me parallelly So, Sima, I love you. Hello, how are you? How you are doing? Now, tell me what you, what would be the answer for this? Using superposition theorem, using superposition theorem, 
determine the current denoted by IA in the following circuit. In the following circuit. Now tell me what we have to do. First you apply this voltage. Make this one is open circuit. 6 divided by 12. 0.5 amperes. Next to make this is short circuit applied this current source. 4 amperes is coming here. 2 amperes will go. 2 amperes will go like this. 2, 4, this. How much? 2.5 amperes. 2.5 amperes. How much you got, Ma? What is the answer you got? 2.5 means D. Everybody got this answer? Try to see what is the questions you are getting. Determine the Thevenin's equivalent voltage across the terminal C and B in the following circuit. Consider 10 ohm resistance as a load resistor. Now you remove this one. You try to remove that resistor. And this is plus, this is minus. We want to calculate VAB. Isn't it or not? The what is that? Asking A and B. VAB, we can remove this, it is open. Now, what is your remaining circuit? Your remaining circuit is having 20 volts is here, 5 ohms is here, 15 volts is here. And uh, this is A, this is B. This one is plus, this is minus. 20 volts is here, 15 volts is here. What would be the voltage drop across this, we should find. Because of it is open circuited, no current is flowing in this part. Due to this voltage only current is having, your current is flowing from negative to positive terminal like this. 10 divided by 10, 1 ampere, 1 into 5 is a 5 volts. This is plus and minus. Now, come from this point. Come from this point. What is this point? 20 plus 5 minus 15. What is this terminal? Minus VBA. Minus VBA is equal to 0. Minus VBA is equal to 0. Then what happened? This is 25. 10. 10 minus VAB. VBA is equal to 0. Then what happened? VBA is equal to VBA is equal to 10 volts but we require VAB so that minus 10 volts would be the answer. I hope everyone is clear. This is the problem commander. Be careful. Try to observe what I explained. Polarity is also important to, to choose. This is very nice and simple question. What is this one? Find the value of R1, R2. We want to find the R1 and R2. Very simple ma. How much current is flowing here? 3 amperes. What is the voltage? 30. 30 divided by 2. 15 ohms. R2 is 15 ohms. This will be the answer or either this will be the answer. These two are not the correct options. 
and what is here 3 amperes it is a 9 volts here your total branch voltage is 30 9 volts is dropped here 21 volts is here 21 divided by 3 ohms will give resistance 7 ohms this is the answer r1 is 7 and uh, r2 is 15 ohms what are Tell me what would be the answer for this? Two impedances R plus Jx, R minus Jx connected in parallel offer a resistance of 1 ohm and we are connected a series resistance of 2 ohms. Find the impedances. So, when you connect parallel, you are getting 1 ohm. When you connect series, you are getting 2 ohms. Series means Z1 plus Z2. Suppose, if you add this one, you may, of course, everything series may suitable, better to select the parallel combination. Z1 into Z2 by Z1 plus Z2. Z1, 1 plus J1, I am choosing this one. Root 2 at an angle of 45 into root 2 at an angle of minus 45 divided by z1 plus z2 this is 2 plus 45 minus 45 gets cancelled 2 by 2 is becomes 1 so answer b is the right answer b is the right answer are you okay all of you don't waste your time to choose a select paper a paper b paper c paper d Take answers not like that. Questions are appearing. We are explaining with complete solutions. So that take your uh, question paper sheet and uh, select what are the proper answers and uh, compare what you answered and uh, what is exact answer. Now, determine the total. Determine the total resistance between the terminals A and B. It is a very simple question here. How these three are is in series? 30, 20, 10, 60. 60 into 30 by 60 plus 30, 20. This entire value will become 20. 20. 20 plus 15, 35 plus 5, 40. 40 in parallel with 40. This becomes like a 20. 20, 3, 7. Only 30. C is the right answer for this. This type of problems benefit is you can answer less than one minute. Such a simple problem it is. That time you can sp spend for some other problems. Yeah, see here. Match the following input and output functions uh, interrupts interrupts and externally initiated operations. See here, HLDA, what is HLDA? Hold acknowledgement. Whenever microprocessor receives a hold signal, the processor is generating one acknowledgement. So, this is going outside, this is output. And uh, Trap. Trap is an interrupt given to the processor. That is a one type of interrupt. So that inside. Trap is input. INTR is also another category of hardware interrupt. It is an interrupt. This is also an input. Interrupt acknowledgement. So processor is giving acknowledgement. Yes, I received an interrupt. This is acknowledgement, this is acknowledgement. Acknowledgement provided by the processor, interrupts are received by the processor. This is output. So, what would be the answer for this? For A, <coughs> 2 and 3. For A, 2 and 3. For output, 1 and 4, 1 and 4. C is the right answer. Okay, ma? 
right my dear students now see here the crystal of dash frequency is connected at the dash pins of 8085 microprocessor crystal means frequency frequency is given to the x1 x2 terminals clock frequency of 8085 microprocessor is 3 megahertz but it is supplied with a crystal oscillator of 6 megahertz 6 megahertz crystal applied to x1 and x2 but internal clock frequency is 3 megahertz so answer is a for 74 now see here it is this is little bit confusion to the students indicate the correct combination and sequence of the cascode amplifier it's not a cascade it's a cascode amplifier what is cascode amplifier a ce amplifier followed by cb output side it contains cb input side it must have a ce it is a better version of the common base the improved version of the common base configuration is a cascode so input side is common emitter but in the given options that uh, combination is not available common emitter followed by common collector it is not the correct remaining uh, input side common base are there no it is not like that but coming to the this last option common source common source is like a common emitter this is FET configuration this is BJT configuration and uh, followed by a common gate common gate is similar to common base common base so answer is D hello my dear students are you following or not try to compare your answers to the answers from here the circuit breaker interrupting time circuit breaker interrupting time is the period between the instant of energy of tripping coil already relay is operated from their point of view to extension of the arc arc has to be cleared between the time is a circuit breaker operating time when you come to here opening of circuit breaker is not a this is an answer is this one and a fault occurrence to extension of arc is a fault clearing time here only circuit breaker interrupting time fault clearing time means we have to answer this one next the ratings of the circuit breaker is defined based on the dash fault l indicates line g indicates ground usually triple line fault is a reference for circuit breaker that option is not available afterwards the severity will be there for triple line to ground fault so that we can take as a triple line to ground fault instead of triple line fault this is a standard question in the insulators it is a routine question a transmission line 100 kV with a string of 5 discs the voltage across the bottom most is 25 kV determine the string efficiency string efficiency is equal to voltage across the string 100 divided by 5 discs are there voltage across the bottom most it is how much it is 25 kV 25 kV means 1 fourth 1 by 4 1 fourth of string voltage into 100 this 100 4 by 5 0.8 80% 80% next so see here 110 kV 100 kilometers long transmission line supplies a load of 200 MVA at receiving end the total power transmission losses are 24 megawatts determine the resistance of the line what is the line current you try to calculate current i from the receiving end load 220 into 10 power of 6 divided by what is that 
लाइन वोल्टेज रूट थ्री इंटू वन टेन इंटू टेन पवर आफ थ्री सो दिस यू आर गेटिंग आई वॉट इज यवर आई स्क्वायर आर आई स्क्वायर आर इज गिवेन एस ट्वेंटी फोर मेगावाट कैलकुलेट आई वैल्यू सब्सिट्यूट हिस्सर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द रेसिस्टेंस वैल्यू ऑफ एटीन ओम्स पर फेस एटीन ओम्स पर फेस ओके राइट एंड बैक टू बैक हेचवीडीसी लिंक इज यूज टू प्रोवाइड द स्टेबल इंटर कनेक्शन स्टेबल इंटर कनेक्शन एंड शेखर सार विल एक्सप्लेन संपत सार विल एक्सप्लेन अदर टॉपिक्स वॉट एवर द टॉपिक्स पवर सिस्टम नैटवर्क डिजिटल एलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स अनलाग एलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स मैक्रो प्रोसेसर मैक्रो कंट्रोलर रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन आलरे गिवेन इफ एनी नाट वाच दिस वीडियो ट्रई टू वाच वन अगेन फॉर द कंप्लीट आल क्वेश्चन विल बी अवेलेबल हियर गो थ्रू इट शंकर संपत सार विल एक्सप्लेन इन हिस् टापि so good afternoon everyone so i will go with the questions whatever the sir left by so the first question is a 79th one sorry 80th question so back to back hvdc link the main purpose of hvdc link is to here in case of hvdc link here rectifier end and inverter end based upon the firing angle we are going to control the power transmission from one end to another end so the best answer is stable interconnection means in order to provide the stable interconnection back to back hvdc link is used so answer is c for this question so here in case of control system they are asking positional error velocity as well as acceleration error so you might have know that uh, positional error kp equal to limit uh, s tends to 0 g of s into h of s if you substitute s equal to 0 here 0 0 0 13 13 will get cancel you will get a point 2 so answer will be a point 2 so what about the uh, acceleration velocity error limit s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s means whenever if you substitute s equal to 0 velocity error will be 0 acceleration means limit s tends to 0 s square into g of s means if you substitute s equal to 0 again you will get 0 which means that positional error is 0.2 velocity error is 0 as well as acceleration error is 0 so next one is the second order stay space system is given x dash equal to ax plus bu next one y equal to cx plus du y equal to cx plus du so he is asking controllable and
So next one is the resonant peak of a standard second order system is given root 5. So resonant peak is given. So, so this is the resonant peak MR. So MR equal to 1 by 2 zeta into square root over 1 minus zeta square. So they are asking the approximate damping ratio values here. So they are asking the approximate damping ratio value. So MR equal to 1 by 2 zeta into square root over 1 minus zeta square. If you just equal to root 5, here we need to consider zeta square equal to x. Then you will get the two different values for damping ratio. So the answer will be for this question. So, 0 point square root over 0 point 0 0.05 comma square root 0 point 0.95. Next, 49th question. 49th one. So, here they are mentioning lag compensator as well as lead compensator. Here, R1 equal to R2 equal to R the respective transfer functions they are asking. So, Janvi still you are facing the issue. So, guys, is it visible now? Sorry, is it audible now? Can you please respond? So, the lag compensator as well as lead compensator of the network they are asking. So we know that uh, transfer function is 1 plus A T S pi, 1 plus T S. If uh, A is uh, greater than 1, then that is a lead compensator. If uh, A is uh, less than 1, then that is a lag compensator. We need to convert the entire transfer function into in this format. Then you will get the transfer function. So see here. 1 plus ATS by 1 plus TS. T means uh, you need to substitute RS, sorry, RC. So, RC and RC here. So, next one is uh, we need to convert, transfer this equation. Then you will get the answer is B. If you convert this into 1 plus ATS by 1 plus TS. So, next question is. The root locus system having G of S is given. The breakaway points, uh, we need to check uh, valid points. Breakaway means we need to find out uh, DK by DS equal to 0. Where K equal to 1 by magnitude of G of S into H of S. Which means that uh, we need to do D by DS of S square plus 4S plus 20 divided by s plus 5. If you find out this one, you will get a s value is a, one value you will get 0, one value you will get 0. So, one point is valid, another one is a invalid point. So, 0 is a valid point and a minus 10 will be the invalid point. So, next question is, 
the damping coefficient this is a little bit a tricky question they just want to you need to check whether you are checking the options or not based on that they were asking see here finding this alpha and omega in values with these values is uh, very difficult so try to go with the options means uh, alpha equal to we know that uh, zeta omega n so they are giving alpha value is uh, 4.8 that equal to zeta into omega n means uh, if you multiply damping ratio and natural frequency that should be equal to 4.8 then only the answer will be correct so you need to multiply zeta and omega n from the options so zeta and omega n if you multiply 0.6 into 8 you will get around 4.8 so answer will be d for this question for 47th one next synchro so it comes under measurement as well as electrical machines so synchro is a basic control system component of uh, which of the following so here state are consisting of in case of synchro state are consisting of a two phase winding and uh, rotor are consisting of a three phase winding that is a equivalent of uh, synchro actually it is uh, similar to that of a uh, synchronous machine so state are having a two phase winding as well as rotor having the three phase winding so answer will be d for this question so here finding the transfer function of the following system they were just asking the transfer function but here by watching here positive and negative signs there will be little bit tricky first we need to find out the transfer function in the forward path so forward path is z1 z2 first forward path is z1 z2 next forward path is like this so that will be enter at a negative terminal so minus 1 next forward path is like this that is also entering at a negative terminal minus 1 so again the next forward path is like this and next forward path is like this so that will be two times of z2 but that enter at the negative terminal so that's why minus 2 g2 and minus 2 and g1 g2 so answer will be c so next question in a continuous time signal x of t is given sin t we already know that uh, the amplitude means uh, sin t means uh, bounded input means amplitude is finite but infinity duration of time when I'm, whenever amplitude is finite infinity duration of time definitely that will be the power signal if it is a if it is a power signal definitely that won't be the energy signal so answer will be d for 39th question so it is a power signal but not a energy signal next one is the incorrect statement they are asking incorrect statement out of the following given signal system so first you need to know the causal system what is mean by causal system causal system means present output depends upon the present input past input as well as past output then only that is treated as a causal system so means all causal systems are memoryless they are saying so that will be the wrong answer incorrect statement so answer is a So next one, H1 of N and H2 of N are the impulse responses of two systems are given, one and two respectively. Then according to distributive associative property as well as interconnected two system will be single viewed system impulse response they are asking. 
means uh, impulse response uh, we need to distributive law and we need to find out the associative law so whenever we are applying the distributive and associative law the impulse function will be comes in the multiplication which means that uh, there will be represented like series combination and they must and should be appear in terms in terms of uh, product means uh, next 36th question so x y1 of t equal to t into x of t whenever t is appearing in the system then i can say that uh, definitely system is uh, unstable but uh, y2 of t equal to cos of uh, x of t here some function is uh, appearing on x of t which means that uh, system is be memoryless <coughs> so answer will be d for this system so why because here t is there here <coughs> you are applying cos or sin or something you are function is applying on x of t so that's why this will comes under memory less system next one the power electronics question so the following circuit control the resistor applying to a load the input and output voltage waveforms are shown in the figure the firing angle alpha and extinction angle beta are given 45 and 235 degrees so alpha is given as 45 and extinction angle beta is given as 235 then conduction period they are asking as well as first half cycle non conduction period in the second half cycle they are asking so what will be the answer for this conduction period means you need to conduction where they are getting conducting so just uh, subtract 180 minus 45 you will get 135 out of this if you subtract uh, during uh, off period time if you subtract you will get uh, 125 so answer will be d next one so the three phase induction motor fed by three phase inverter circuit fundamental and all all harmonics without third harmonic components whenever there is no third harmonic components the slip at fifth harmonic will be definitely the slip will be greater than 1 so slip will be greater than 1 for this question so three phase induction motor three phase inverter so next one is output of the single phase semi converter is twice that of the output of the single phase full converter for the same firing angle input displacement factor of the semi converter they are asking if you equate output of semi converter is vm by pi into 1 plus cos alpha which is equals to 2 times of output of the full wave converter which is nothing but 2 vm by pi into cos alpha if you equate that you will get the answer is root 2 by 3 so answer for this question is root 2 by 3 so remaining questions will be explained by rashekar sir నేను మ్యాథ్స్ కూడా ఇవ్వాలి కదా హాయ్ మై డియర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ యా ఎలా రాశారు ఎగ్జామ్ so finally spdcl exam and npdcl exam rendu kuda ayipoyayi who prepared well and generally 
కొంచెం ప్రిపేర్ అయ్యి వెళ్ళిన వాళ్ళకి దిస్ ఇస్ ద గుడ్ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ సార్ మోడరేట్లీ జయలం గురించి మళ్ళీ మాట్లాడదాం సార్ దాని గురించి కూడా సెపరేట్ గా వీడియో చేస్తాము నవ్ వీ కేమ్ హియర్ ఫర్ ఏ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ ఓకే మరి ఈ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ లో ఇంకా ఆల్రెడీ మన రమణ సర్వే చాలా వరకు క్వశ్చన్స్ వచ్చాయి తర్వాత కంట్రోల్స్ ఈఎంఎఫ్ అండ్ సిగ్నల్స్ సార్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేశారు మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ లో టెన్ క్వశ్చన్స్ వచ్చాయి సార్ ఇంకా జనరల్ గా ఈ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ లో మ్యాథ్స్ సిగ్నల్స్ ఈఎంఎఫ్ ఎవరు చేస్తారో వాళ్ళకే జాబ్ వస్తుంది సార్ మిగతావన్నీ అందరూ చేసేవే ఈజీగా ఉన్నాయి దీంట్లో ఎక్కువ స్కోర్ ఎవరు చేస్తారో వాళ్ళకే జాబ్ వస్తుంది ఈజీలీ ఐ హోప్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ రిటర్న్ వెల్ యా హాయ్ హాయ్ వరుణ్ రైట్ ఇప్పుడు ఇక రిమైనింగ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఒకసారి చూద్దాం సార్ ఫస్ట్ మ్యాథమెటిక్ క్వశ్చన్స్ కొన్ని ఉన్నాయి కదా ఆ టెన్ క్వశ్చన్స్ కి లెట్ సీ ద జస్ట్ ఆన్సర్స్ ఇస్తాం సార్ బికాస్ ఐ డోంట్ నో అబౌట్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ మన ఫ్యాకల్టీ ఇచ్చిన కీ సార్ సో కమింగ్ టు ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఆన్సర్ ఏ ఇస్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఆప్షన్ ఏ ఇస్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ అండ్ కమింగ్ టు సెకండ్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆప్షన్ డి ఆప్షన్ డి మళ్ళీ వీటికి ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ కూడా అవి విల్ ట్రై అమ్మా మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ కి అన్నింటికి ఫ్యాకల్టీ నౌ నాట్ అవైలబుల్ దట్స్ వై నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ద థర్డ్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈస్ ఆప్షన్ డి అండ్ ద ఫోర్త్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈజ్ ఇది అందరూ చేసి ఉంటారు కదా ఐ హోప్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ నోస్ దిస్ వాట్ దే ఆస్ట్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఐగన్ వాల్యూస్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు ద ట్రేస్ ఆఫ్ ద మ్యాట్రిక్స్ యూ నో దట్ అందరూ చేసి ఉంటారు అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ ఫిఫ్త్ వన్ ఇస్ ద ఆన్సర్ సి ఐ థింక్ ఫిఫ్త్ వన్ ఇస్ ద ఆన్సర్ సి అండ్ అండ్ సిక్స్త్ కమింగ్ టు సిక్స్త్ సిక్స్త్ సెవెంత్ కమింగ్ టు సిక్స్త్ సెవెంత్ సిక్స్త్ వన్ ఇస్ ద ఆప్షన్ డి సిక్స్త్ వన్ ఇస్ ద ఆప్షన్ డి అండ్ సెవెంత్ వన్ ఈస్ మోస్ట్ ప్రాబబ్లీ దిస్ ఈస్ సమ్ డౌట్ స్టిల్ మోస్ట్లీ ఆప్షన్ ఏ ఇస్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ here small doubt is there i think question may be wrong answer maths faculty told that and next one coming to 8th 9th and 10th 8th one is the option a and 9th one is the option b and 10th one also option a is the correct answer these 10 questions belongs to these 10 questions belongs to mathematics so who prepared well i hope generally 2020 2021 2019 passed out students uh, felt very happy with these questions because uh, easy questions in mathematics but who are preparing from since uh, like a 2020 sorry 2012 2014 2015 they feel somewhat hard towards this mathematics endukante 2010-15 మధ్యలో ఉన్న వాళ్ళందరూ జస్ట్ కాన్సన్ట్రేటెడ్ ఆన్ మెషిన్స్ అండ్ పవర్ సిస్టమ్ ఈ పేపర్ టఫ్ కాదు సార్ మోడరేట్లీ ఈజీ నాట్ ఈజీ మోడరేట్లీ ఈజీ ఒక సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ వచ్చినాయంటే హ్యాపీగా ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ చేయొచ్చు ఒక సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ వరకు వచ్చినాయంటే వీ కెన్ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ ద జాబ్ రైట్ మోడరేట్లీ రైట్ సార్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆల్రెడీ ఇవన్నీ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేశారు సార్ సార్ వాళ్ళు ఇది ఒకటి ఇంక ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేయలేదా సార్ లెట్ సి ద లెవెంత్ వన్ సార్ గివ్ మీ ద ఆన్సర్స్ ప్లీజ్ గివ్ మీ ద ఆన్సర్ వుడ్ ఇస్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఫర్ లెవెంత్ క్వశ్చన్ జనరల్ గా బిట్వీన్ టూ ఫేజెస్ ఆర్ బిట్వీన్ టూ లైన్స్ అనేది వన్ ట్వంటీ డిగ్రీస్ బట్ ఇక్కడ క్వశ్చన్ ఏమి అడిగాడు చూడండి సార్ ఇన్ ఏ త్రీ ఫేజ్ బ్యాలెన్స్ స్టార్ కనెక్షన్ జనరేటర్ విత్ ఫేజ్ సీక్వెన్స్ ఆర్ వై బి ద గివెన్ జనరల్లీ the phase difference between line voltage and phase voltage line voltage and phase voltage generally these are the phase phase voltages for example this is r phase this is y phase this is b phase now if we want a line we have to take like this right so this is the line voltage this is the phase voltage in between what is the angle in between what is the angle very good rajender still anyone you have to give the answers guys so what is the correct answer option b is the correct answer general ga idi andaru chese question sir even iti diploma wallu happy ga chese question for your phase voltage and line voltage the angle is 30 degrees 
for a phase current and line current also generally the angle is 30 degrees in delta not in star but in star line current is equal to phase current next coming to this question ee question oka disaster endukante transformer annadu ikkada frictional losses kuda ichesadu i don't know why the friction is there in this transformer ओके ट्रांसफार्मर नूडी बट ली वट द आंसर फर् दिशा सर फुल कापर लासन लासिवे दुल कापर लास हंड्रेड वर्ड अंदरन लास फोर हंड्रेड वर्ड रेस्पेक्टिवली अफर्स फ्रिक्शनल लासो दिवे द टोटल लासेस वेन द ट्रांसफार्मर आपरेटिंग एट एटी पर्सेंट आफ फुल जनरली द कापर लास वेरियबल लासे and stray losses which are called iron losses plus frictional losses are called stray losses are the constant losses so this 400 and this uh, 120 400 120 532 is the constant losses at any load at full load 1200 watts is the full load copper losses then at 80% of load copper losses can you tell me the answer at 80% of load copper losses nothing bad 80% square into full load copper losses nothing but 64 out of 100 into 1200 these two zeros gets cancel so 64 12s are 64 10s are 640 64 10s are 640 and 64 2s are 128 128 2 plus 8 uh, 10 no uh, these two options is there 500 600 1300 you will get the answer easily okay 600 600 1200 100 1300 100. so this is the answer they given somewhat differently they tried really nice question nice question 1300 is the answer next coming to 13th question this is really very easiest question here one of the easiest questions yeah and sir is a 2000 out of 200 volts two winding transformer having 20 kva rating now this is reconnected as a auto transformer to achieve 2200 out of 200 volts then what is its new rating generally i said that we know some tricks also for this question generally just remove this 200 200 for 2020 kva for 2200 how much for 2020 kva for 2200 22 kva everyone will do this question everyone very easy question coming to next one yeah this is the quality of question you can see the quality of question here what they asked a distribution transformer rated at 800 kva my transformer is there its rating is 800 kva the full load kva is the 800 but see here the load is 200 kilowatts with the power factor of 0.5 the power factor of 0.5 and the active power they given 200 kilowatts can you tell me what is kva the kva is equals to kw by kw divided by power factor power factor nothing but 1 by 2 nothing but the 400 kva my full load kva is the 800 my load kva is the 400 can you tell me where my transformer is operating my transformer is operating at half load my transformer is operating at half load so of course this is for 12 hours per day 12 hours per day operating under half load remaining 2 hours remaining 12 hours no load at condition no loaded means iron losses will be there but the copper losses are zero coming to full load copper losses are given as 16000 watts or 16 kilowatts for full load 16 kilowatts can you tell me for half load can you tell me for half load half load nothing but 1 by 2 square you know very well 16 out of 4 nothing but 4 kilowatts is the half load copper losses but what they asked the full load copper losses are given then the total energy lost due to copper losses energy nothing but power into time my power is the 4 kilowatts and the time 
for time 12 hours per day for 12 za for 12 za 48 kilowatt hours varan 48 kilowatt hours really the electrical machines questions are very nice here and uh, every question you already what is the answer for this question 20th what is the answer for this question you will get option b what is uh, r theta pi r is equals to square root of x square plus y square plus z square and uh, and theta is equals to this total value divided by z and phi is equals to square root of x square plus y square by z tan inverse of tan inverse of if you calculate this you will get this is the what is that one square is the one root three square is the root plus three two root three two root three square four three is the twelve twelve plus three fifteen plus one 16 root 16 is the 4 like that you can find square root of x square plus y square square root of x square plus y square nothing but 1 plus 3 4 nothing but 2 2 divided by z divided by z 2 root 3 2 2 gets cancelled tan inverse of 1 by root 3 30 degrees tan inverse of 1 by root 3 30 degrees like that you can find the values of r theta and pi you will get the answer Coming to next question. Yeah, this is the question. Actually, its answer B and C will be the answer. B and C will be the answer. Actually, Ramana sir forgot to explain this. Next. Next. These questions are already completed. See, this is not a uh, B-Tech level question actually. What they given? The EMF denotes with E. Armature current denotes with uh, EMF denotes with E, armature current denotes with IA and the load current denotes with I and the load voltage denotes with V. Then power generated and power output. Power generated and power output you know very well, right? So the power generated is E into IA, power output is V into I. Very silly question. Very silly question. I hope you know very well about this question. So, this is another quality. Really nice question. Really nice question. Actually, let's see the induction motor torque slip speed characteristics they given. In this, match the speeds of the motors at maximum torque. Like that they given low speed. First one is the low speed point. Here the speed is 0, here the speed is synchronous speed. Which point is low speed? The low speed point is the A, ultimately near to 0. The speed less than no load speed. Generally the no load speed nearly equal to synchronous speed, right? The no load speed of the machine is nearly equal to synchronous speed, but less than load speed nothing but either b or c both are correct answers are actually coming to speed less than synchronous speed here also speed less than synchronous speed nothing but b and c correct answers actually but which have to take which is the best preferable answer which is the best preferable answer let's see based on the options the synchronous speed synchronous speed is the option d so first one is the a fourth one is the d first one is the a Fourth one is the D. First one is the A. Fourth one is the D. Both are correct answer. Second one either B or C. Second one B is there. Here second one C is there. And the third one B or C. Third one C is there. Third one B is there. So which of the following is the best preferable answer means we have to conclude here. The speed less than no load speed. The speed. The speed less than synchronous speed in between generally if i said you b if the examiner given you d there is no question to ask him okay so in this uh, according to my experience my knowledge option d is the preferably correct answer option d is the preferably correct answer so that three is the b three i am taken as a b point speed less than synchronous speed 
and 2 is taken as a C. The speed less than no load speed is taken as a C. Right? Coming to next question. Yeah, this is another very easy question. Generally, here direct online starter is there for a three phase induction motor has been replaced with a star delta starter. Generally, you know, in star delta starter, the current is 1 by 3 times of the normal current and the torque also 1 by 3 times of the normal current compared to DOL starting. DOL starting. 1 by 3 nothing but 33.33 percentage. So, starting current reduced, this is exactly correct answer. Which option is wrong? He need wrong answer. The torque is reduced by, this is also correct answer. But what is this? The starting torque is reduced by 66.7, is it? No. Reduced by 33.33 percentage, right? So, option A is the wrong answer. Of course, the starting voltage, voltage V phase is equals to VL by root 3. In, line, in star, V phase is equals to VL by root 3. In star, VL by root 3, nothing but the voltage reduced by 57.7 percent. This is the correct answer. Option A is the correct answer. This is very easy question in induction machine. A, four and, a 440 volts, 58 induction motor, full load slip they given 10 percent. At full load speed, the frequency of state arc current, state arc current frequency decided by the supply, what you are giving, this is a 50 hertz induction motor, that's why the state arc frequency is 50 hertz. But the rotor frequency is S into Fs, 10% of 50. Can you tell me what is 10% of 50? The 10% of 50 is the 5. 10% of 50 is the 5. So, option B is the correct answer. Next, next, this already completed. There is no my questions still, I think. My questions are completed, I think. This is already explained. Yeah, this is another question. Really, this is also one of the best question. What they given? At the speed of a three-phase induction motor is controlled by V by F control. V by F control, nothing but V by F constant we have to consider. Then, the region below the rated frequency, below rated frequency is constant frequency. What is the, what is the meaning of that statement? Below the rated frequency, why it is constant frequency? The reason below the frequency constant voltage, why it is? If the voltage reduces, frequency also reduces. If the frequency reduces, voltage also will be reduced. Next, the reason below the frequency constant power, above the frequency constant torque, is it? Generally, this is F, this is above rated frequency, this is below rated frequency, nothing but above rated speed, below rated speed. In generally, in above rated speed, constant power, variable torque. In below rated speed, constant torque, variable power. We know this. It's a common thing, right? So, reason below the frequency constant flux region even though frequency increases or decreases we have to maintain v by f constant nothing but constant flux region is the correct above rated frequency constant power above rated frequency constant power so this is another analytical question option d is the correct answer option d is the correct answer next
ஓகே அது பெட்டர் சேர்க்குது right okay guys vinay beta okay okay jilan right okay amma sandhya okay amma next next where we are this is the separately excited the separately excited dc motor there is no change in speed here because because the voltage and fluxes both are reduced in the same proportional right janvi right next one this question answer is option b amma 0 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 minus 0 option b a 56th question our emf faculty given the answer 56 question you will get option b option b is the correct answer next one 56 and this is the answer is option b this is answer is option b 57 option b and 58 58 you will get option a 58 you will get option a and uh, maxwell's curl right 59 the 59th question you will get option b option b is the correct answer option b is the correct answer next uh, 60th question option a option a is the not correct incorrect answer that is one and uh, still is there any our questions this is already sir given right this is also sir given already right right so this is our technical question paper up to 80 marks and for non technical i will give the key i will posted in this whatsapp it's a, uh, whatsapp groups as well as in youtube i will post you the key for a total 100 marks okay i hope you enjoyed it very lot right so prepare well guys and for more details like a for more information please subscribe our channel and please share this one to your friends who wrote today exam and like a for more details please subscribe our channel and thanks for your support guys i will be here next with uh, another question paper and mostly we are going to try to solve all the question paper up to now what we have so uh, one fine day we will come with complete explanation of total question papers stay tuned guys thank you very much bye bye to all ஒரு ஸ்டார்ட் ஜஸ்ட் நட சாமி அடு அடு அது ஸ்டார்ட் ஜஸ்ட் நட சாமி அது